Boogie, drop that beat. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Talking Out Loud with Miss Talkative. Everything I say is my own opinion, alleged, and strictly entertainment purposes. Remember, I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe. Comment down the video, let me know what you think. Y'all, I was on Queen Sheba Live when she gave out the news of Black being closed. And I was like, you mean to tell me the people that made $17 million, they couldn't save their business? Now, this here, this is something that they can't even put on the millimeters because all the calling in the world wouldn't have got their business closed. So this, they gonna have to eat all of this. This is all them. And I don't wanna hear Wanda saying nothing or whatever, don't come giving no speeches about uh, black people sticking together. So, um, people need to support black businesses or anything because when she was up there, um, talking about, um, the content creators talking about their channels going down. She didn't give a rat's behind of the fact that some people do, uh, they may use their platforms that may be their only source of income at this point, or regardless of what they use it for, they still, people make money off of their channels and stuff. So for her to laugh at people for getting their channel struck or people trying to, or other people, her people, her associates trying to take their channels down and her laughing about it, I feel it's don't say nothing about people saying stuff or talking about the Scots business being closed because it's the, it, in my thing and in, in my mind it's all in the same manner it's all in the same arena because these people platforms are their business just as well but um Marso, he always thinking he is uh smarter than everything everybody else always trying to out talk and outsmart people you mean to tell me he couldn't talk his way into keeping his business open but this is exactly what happens when they operate with uh their snakish ways being greedy and not having any business intelligence and this is what teaming up with martel and carlos to run melody off the very show that she created they gave all of them a job. Looks like they gave no, uh, I mean, because they gave no cares. Um, They gave no cares about Melody having four kids to feed. And as long as they got a chance to be front runners on a show where they added no sense of value, they didn't care. It's like, um, why didn't Carlos, in my opinion, why didn't Carlos help these people out? With their business he helped uh martel allegedly save his mama house even though um they turned around and sold it anyway but at least he helped him uh to save it so he he did his part it's like but i wonder did carlos try to get some um get them some help uh but it was too far out his reach and you know he he probably did um try to help his bro seeing as though you know they all so close and cahoots together but uh he wasn't able to see it through and it was and and actually uh, or did the scots tell him um when it was too late when it was um when the actual closing was too close you know it's but i can't see carlos not trying to help them when um he's been helping them helping them all along throughout all of these seasons especially since carlos is uh he told the scots that black is all that they needed to focus on on love and mary tunsfield don't worry about showing your true reality don't worry about nothing else all your secrets and stuff is safe we're gonna keep them buried we're gonna keep them uh, keep them safe where they don't get out to the people. They don't come out on the show. And all y'all have to do is focus on black. So with them focusing on black only, this is exactly what they get. So I wonder what are they going to focus on now? 
because if um but if Carlos was smart was smart he would have the Scots continue to film and uh he would have them film the closing of black and their struggle to reopen because what else what else are they going to film um don't just film they shouldn't just be allowed to film all of their good things their um their highs they need to be able to film everything their true reality and they need to film their lows as well so maybe them filming uh the closing of black may give them a little boost in their ratings this season since carlos is all about ratings because yeah i uh because a lot of people well i don't think people really care at this point because they don't care about the scots but i know people probably would tune in to see exactly how they're going to handle getting this business back open but knowing carlos he probably they probably gonna omit it uh just like everything else now the mission is not for them to focus on black so i guess they're gonna you know turn the attention and start focusing on that traveling expo um but i don't know how that's gonna work out without them having an operational business it's like um i want uh how can people trust them and i wonder what amazon thinks about them um, sponsoring and supporting a business that was actually sinking at the time of them uh supporting them and i bet you know amazon probably just took the scots at their word just like zen gardens did and now look what happened they probably took them people's sponsorship money or whatever they did and used it for the wrong thing. And now is, uh, ev like they say, everything comes out in the wash. But like I say, who's supposed to take these people serious when all of their businesses are failing allegedly and, um, they're being closed down. It's like, how can they inspire people? if they're continuing to fail they're failing in business allegedly they're failing in their marriage allegedly and they're uh, which ultimately results to them failing in life because um and it's okay to um you know uh, fail at some things but these are people that are uh, constantly trying to convince people that they really got it going on when when in reality they don't but I don't see them, um, I don't see how they can even feel honorable enough to continue, uh, with the business, with the business expo, but you know, we all know that these people don't function with no type of honor, no type of integrity, but to think that they are bragging about pulling off a business expo with all these, uh, all those business people and they didn't learn anything for themselves. It's like, what was they take away? They, did they take any notes? Dr. Heavenly, uh, she's always talking about, uh, Heavenly U University. She couldn't teach them nothing. They couldn't go to her for no help and try to, uh, pull some favors or stuff from, from her because she prides herself on, um, uh, people giving people, uh, help for their business and um so i don't understand why if they had her at their event why they didn't learn anything why they didn't ask her any questions they could have just been asking questions hypothetically hell they could have um probably had something where people can write their questions down and it could have been like okay we taking a a question from a, a viewer or something like that anything but for them to walk away and not learn anything from the from their own business expo that they put on for the people in the in just a couple of weeks after their business expo their uh business is closed it makes no sense that just lets you know how these people operate but i don't understand why um maurice the lawyer his brother he couldn't help them strike up a deal to at least stay open um or try to hold the courts up or whomever 
um, was responsible for closing the, the closing of black. He couldn't stall them long enough to so the Scots can figure something out. It's like, what's the use of having a brother as a lawyer? And he can't flex his skills. He could have, you know, I know it takes money to fight a case or, you know, stuff like that to hold people up. But by him being their brother, he could have forfeited his his fees and stuff and uh, got them people to try to at least put the people, take the people to court to at least hold them off so they can keep their business open. But he's so busy trying to sue, uh, sue content creators and actually his brother need his help more. So this is exactly what they get. But this, this is exactly what happens when they, um, when they are more worried about what the people think instead of them actually being worried about their bottom line. They didn't care what they be, what was going on with their businesses. They knew their businesses were sinking. They knew that they were not, um, operating, uh, in their true reality, but they didn't care. They were so busy trying to be celebrities versus using the platform to make a legacy for their family. Tisha bragging on TV about a $10,000 a month allowance like she's a little kid. It's like trying to impress people, even though in reality, they allegedly owe just about every company that they've ever done business with. So for her to be, you know, them bragging about uh, how much money they bringing in and stuff like that, that uh, I guess it is true. If you got to brag about it, then you really don't have it. Because even their trip to Africa, that didn't prove anything to the people except for um, that they do care about what the people think. Because it still don't negate the fact that Marcel took a trip and left his family behind for 30 days without contact. So for them to sit up on this platform and try to play like they're millionaires and they're, uh, they have all of these businesses and Tisha talking about she had to uh, step in, purchase scope, become the majority owner and pull it out of the red, put it in the black because it was a, a it was a sinking ship when Martel was part owner and she the one brought it up to be a million dollar, a multi-million dollar business, not just a million dollar business, but she said multi-million dollar business. So my thing is if you, if she was able to bring Scott up to become a multi-million dollar business, which we all know that's uh you mean a negative multi-million dollar business with this it, because her allowing Marceau to um run it and kick her out and uh move her out of the all of the decision making and him moving it and getting all these lawsuits the 5.5 million dollar lawsuit so yeah she, and the business not even worth 5.5 million dollars but they got a lawsuit uh, a multi-million dollar lawsuit. So I guess she would consider her business being uh, a multi-million dollar business if she's being sued for that amount. But anyhow, um, why she, if she said that she can bring, she brought Scold up to a multi-million dollar business, then what's wrong with her working on, on black? And they, I mean, they had customers, but at the same time, it seems like it just wasn't enough because they were so busy, like I said, trying to be celebrities and they were so busy uh, robbing Peter, in my opinion, allegedly robbing Peter to pay Paul and instead of them handling, handling their business like true businessmen and, um, and real adults that's trying to build wealth and trying to build a legacy, they they had the bag, they had the platform, and they fumbling, and they keep fumbling. So I don't want to hear Wanda get on here and say nothing about people coming for Tisha and black people, black uh, black people not supporting other black people and other black businesses. This is just my opinion. I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video. Let me know what you think.